Hi everybody, James from Zygal Studios here, and today we're going to talk about another embedded topic. So this is the top five things I wish I knew when I entered the embedded systems field. The first one is pretty obvious, be passionate. Make sure that you love doing this because it is not easy. Embedded systems engineering for both computer science focused and hardware focused engineers is a difficult task and sometimes means you got to punch yourself in the face a few times before you make any progress. This can be very frustrating, especially if you don't like it. So please make sure that you're passionate about it and you understand what it takes to get something to work. And this is usually why people don't focus on it anyway. But it's easy to be passionate about because there's so many great applications out there that you can get behind and really love. So first thing I'd say is be passionate. The next thing, stick to the fundamentals. Everyone likes to talk about the big buzzword things like cloud computing, machine learning, and all that type of stuff. But embedded really needs you to have a strong grasp on the fundamentals. Things like finite state machine design, anywhere from communication protocols serially like you know, RS-232, CAN, UART, I2C, SPY, all that stuff is much more valuable to somebody looking for an embedded systems engineer than someone who knows how to, let's say, build a neural net. Because typically that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to link all these different peripherals together and make a coherent system that doesn't fail or when it does understands what modes it can go into. The next one is something that's a little bit more crass and is more common than you might think. Avoid engineering by storytelling. And this starts with understanding the hardware that you're working with. Every embedded system is going to have a different architecture, roughly so, associated if you use different micros along the way. There are some commonalities between certain cores, but even the Cortex-M0 from ARM and the Cortex-M4 have totally different architectures, and therefore you need to write different code in order for it to work correctly and well. And this is something that I think is really important, especially for people who have been focusing on computer science theory for most of their undergraduate career. You need to program on hardware. Just because somebody says that something works or you learned in theory something works doesn't necessarily mean that the hardware is going to translate it into the instructions that will pr process things efficiently and well. You need to read the data sheet and the technical specifications to make sure that the, what you're programming and understand the compiler too so that you know what you're programming is going to translate into success in your design and in the field. So avoid engineering by storytelling. Only follow the facts. Only follow verifiable, testable results. The second thing is a pretty big no-no anywhere, and this is with any job. If you don't know something, say you don't know, and you'll research it and get back to somebody later. The worst thing you can possibly do is tell somebody, yeah, I know what to do with that, and then not have an answer for it later when they ask about it again. You have to make sure that if you know something, you know it. You can't send someone on a wild goose chase because you might know something. You have to have tangible results and actual feel for what is going on in that situation. So if you don't know, and this works with interviews too, just say you don't know because that's better than pretending like you do, 100%. And finally, the last thing I will say is be purposeful in your engineering. Add value to what you're working on. Specifically, I'm talking about that whatever you're working on, whatever you're coding, Make sure it adds value to the project or whatever you're working on. The biggest mistake programmers in embedded systems make is that code is more important than data, which is 100% false. Code is dispensable. It's something that can be thrown out or rewritten anytime, anywhere. You can't future-proof in embedded systems because the systems are changing so much that sometimes pieces of code don't really translate well between different pieces of hardware. Everything needs to be redesigned anyway. Don't future-proof. Make sure you're adding value. It's one thing to have a coding standard and have the whole team follow it. It's another thing to spend a whole day on making sure every single equal sign lines up on every single file. That's my point. Make sure that you're adding value and you're not off in the weeds somewhere chasing some crazy issue that you didn't even start looking for in the first place. Make sure you add value to your team and to your project because eventually it will pay off and you'll be surprised at what you can do. That's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. And these are the five things I wish I knew when entering the embedded systems field. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please hit the like button and subscribe as it helps me out a ton. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future or you want me to talk about something else, please leave it in the comments below. I hope to see you all in the next video. And this is James from Zygo Studios, signing off.